Fernando how it is set to take on frontrunner Jair Bolsonaro in the crowded 2018 Brazil election as the country tries to recover after being gripped by a number of political corruption scandals in recent years. Hadid, the son of Middle Eastern immigrants, has a long history of government service and was initially named as a vice presidential candidate before being unexpectedly thrust onto the top of a political ticket. But just who is Fernando Hadid? Here's a look at the Brazilian politician as the 2018 general election gets underway in the country. JPG height equals 951 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border im share copy link to paste in your message who is Fernando Haddad a Jesus advertising and read invented by Teeds Fernando Haddad is a Brazilian politician and academic who served as the mayor of Sao Paulo from 2013 to 2017. He's currently the Workers' Party candidate for President of Brazil in the upcoming 2018 election. Haddad was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil on January 25, 1963. The son of Lebanese immigrants, he earned a master's degree in economics and a doctorate in philosophy from the University of Sao Paulo before starting a career as an investment analyst at Unibanco. Haddad later worked as a consultant for the Institute of Economic Research Foundation before moving into public sector work, finding employment as the chief of staff to the Finance and Economic Development Secretary for Sao Paulo, and eventually as a special advisor at the Brazilian Ministry of Planning, Budget and Management. Climbing the ranks of government steadily, he later was named as the Minister of Education for Brazil in July 2005. During his tenure, had it established the Basic Education Development Index to help better measure the quality of public primary and middle schools in Brazil. He also oversaw the implementation of a new scholarship program aimed at helping low-income students attend private colleges and made numerous reforms to the country's national high school exam. Had it left his position in January 2012 and was named as the candidate for mayor of Sao Paulo during the 2012 municipal elections in Brazil. After advancing to the second round of the election, he defeated the city's former mayor, Jose Serra, with just over 55% of the vote. After assuming his new duties as mayor in January 2013, he implemented a sweeping expansion of the city's bike lane network, but later sparked a major backlash in June of that year after announcing along with the government of the state of Sao Paulo, that mass transit ticket prices would be increased. The decision ultimately led to mass protests in the Sao Paulo and many other major Brazilian cities. JPG height equals 423 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border im share copy link to paste in your message by July 2016. Had it was hobbled by a dismal approval ratings of only 14% of city residents and lost his re-election bid in October 2016 to Joe Odoria, the Brazilian Social Democracy Party candidate. He ultimately left office in January 2017 after a four-year tenure as mayor of Brazil's largest city. As the 2018 Brazil elections loomed, he was named as former President Lula da Silva's running mate in August in his bid to regain the presidency. However, da Silva was later ruled as disqualified from running for president again by the Superior Electoral Court for violating the country's Clean Record Act shortly afterwards on August 31 due to his conviction on corruption charges. Had it was eventually named as da Silva's replacement by the Workers' Party on September 11, 
while Brazil Communist Party legislator Manuela de Vila took his place as the candidate for vice president. 2018 Brazil election polls according a recent America Society Council of the Americas poll had it is currently in second place ahead of the election, which will be held in stages from October 7 to October 28. Had it leads a number of other candidates, but still trails Bolsonaro, the conservative populist frontrunner of the Social Liberty Party who many have compared to you. As President Donald Trump, Bolsonaro leads the poll with 35% of the vote, while Howdy trails with 22%. Notably, Howdy's polling numbers have largely flatlined in recent days, while Bolsonaro has surged ahead, making his victory, while not a sure thing, all the more likely as the election gets underway. In other news, who is at Harry Kalsa? Brad Pitt's rumored new girlfriend revealed Bedford Super League Grand Final 2018, all you need to know who is Fernando Howdid. Brazil President Canatic revealed ahead of election Nicolas Cage net worth Giselle Bundchen net worth revealed after autobiography release Euro Millions results, national lottery numbers for Friday, 5 October who is Addison Russell's ex-wife Melissa Reedy. Everything you need to know about her Bette Midler net worth revealed after Hocus Pocus stars and word tweet Man in Black 4, cast, plot, release date and more NFL Week 5 preview, schedule, rankings, predictions and more Who is Susan Collins? Senator whose vote will decide Brett Kavanaugh's fate revealed all the must-see movies coming to theaters fall 2018 Richard Ashcroft tour dates Tickets and venues revealed ahead of Natural Rebel album release Who is Jadon Sancho? Borussia Dortmund winger revealed after England call-up for Croatia game Who is Prithvi Shaw? Cricketer revealed after becoming the youngest Indian to hit debut test century Emily Radijkowski's net worth revealed after model is arrested at Brett Kavanaugh protest Canadian Thanksgiving Day 2018. All you need to know about Jauer Dill action to grace Priyank of Chepra invests in Bumble dating app ahead of India launch Marvel fans react to Chris Evans tweet confirming Captain America exit new EXO album, K-pop and announce, don't mess up my tempo and reveal tracklist, 